Okay, YouTube wanted to provide a follow-up video uh, from my Alexa custom skill for DirecTV control um, for additional media controls that I've built into the Echo, um, some of which I've used the custom skill for even though they're not directly related to uh, DirecTV, um, but when I need to pass custom values and set them, I wanted to capitalize on the existing skill I already had. Um, the rest I use the Hue Automation Bridge that are simple toggles for on or off where I can just use that instead of using the custom skill. So one of the things I want to use the custom skill for additionally uh, beyond just direct TV control is um, my media control for volume and things like that. Um, so first thing we want to do is find out what our current volume is set to. Alexa, ask direct TV for Pioneer level. Okay, so she's telling me my current volume is set to 41. Let's go ahead and turn it up to 45. Alexa, ask Direct TV for volume 45. Okay, volume level set to 45. Okay, we turned it up to 45. Let's go ahead and turn it back down to 40. Alexa, ask Direct TV for volume 40. Okay, volume level set to 40. Okay, so we can turn the volume up or down. Now my receiver through uh, sockets controls how I'm controlling this, IP-based sockets. doesn't allow you to tune to a specific volume, so I just create a loop uh, and volume up and down uh, based on what the current volume is and where I'm headed to know how many times I need to toggle the volume up and down. Now we can do things like mute the receiver as well. For these types of things, since they're toggles, I don't have to use the custom skill. I can just directly toggle on or off. Now the uh, the Echo doesn't like using things like words like volume and media and volume and like, like I said and some others. So I just have a unique uh, name right now. I call my muting uh, option potato. That's strictly so it doesn't interfere with um, the existing built-in Alexa command. So let's go ahead and turn on muting. Alexa, turn on potato. Okay, so now we've muted okay. the TV. Let's turn muting back off. Alexa. Turn off potato. Okay. Now we got volume back on. So now we've controlled volume level up and down. We've queried for what the current volume level is, and we're able to mute mute uh, the DVR or the the receiver as well. What, what other toggles we can use for the Hue Automation Bridge? Um, things like changing my uh, receiver's input, since I have multiple HDMI sources into the t into the tuner. Uh, and then a unique HDMI out to the TV, I can do things like switching over to my computer. Alexa, turn on computer. Okay. So now we've got our computer on. You can see here our new our input for computer is technically called video, but we have a friendly name called computer. We can turn that back off. Alexa, turn off computer. Okay, now we go okay. back to our regular TV input. We can go over to other things like uh, Chromecast. Alexa, turn on Chromecast. Okay. Now we switched over to Chromecast automatically. Now the Chromecast, because the TV has HDMI uh, control, automatically switches my input for the appropriate audio for Chromecast. But let's go ahead and turn that back off. Alexa, turn off Chromecast. There we go, back over to regular TV. So now we're switching inputs on the receiver. Okay. Um, and back to regular TV. Um, some other things we can do is, is, is power control. So we can individually control each of my uh, devices. Let's go ahead and turn off just the DVR. Alexa, turn off DVR. Okay. okay. Now we've got our DVR off. Let's turn it back on. Alexa. Turn on DVR. Okay. Now we've got our DVR back on. Let's do individual control for our receiver itself. Alexa, turn off Pioneer. Now we got the Pioneer off. Now we can go ahead and obviously turn that back on. Alexa, turn on Pioneer. There we go. Turns the Pioneer back on. And then last but not least, we're done for the night. And I plan on adding this to groups to control other functionality as well. But let's go ahead and turn off all media. Okay. Alexa. Alexa. Turn off media.
TV off, DVR off, Pioneer off. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.